Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Meet my little fat boyfriend. Isn't he cute? It coo -coo 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 -coo. Well, I got this as a gift, as a housewarming gift, back in 2012 from Brother and Sister Hall from a church I used to attend in Monrovia. And what I want to tell you is some of you feel like a little old fat whatnot sitting around collecting dust. You're not accomplishing anything. You're not doing anything. You're not uh, reaching great exploits and, and fulfilling great feats in life. You're not doing uh, great earth-shaking things. You're not accomplishing earth-shattering, memorable occasions. You're not doing great wonders of any kind. And you feel like you're just sitting around taking up space. Now, Let's talk from the natural. This little baby right here, when I first got him, this was black and white, right? This was the same color, but all this was black. You see that? All that was black. All right. Even this was black. I, no, I forget what color that was. I think that was black or it was white. I forget. Anyway, but the bottom line is I got my little can. I'm making a point. Don't go anywhere. I got my little can of paint. Mm -hmm. And I went around and doctored this baby up and made him my own so he would blend in with my red and ivory interior in my kitchen. Now, this happens to be one of the favorite things in my kitchen. I don't do much with him, but he just puts a little smile on my face because he's easy to keep clean. He doesn't give me any trouble. He doesn't malfunction. He holds my little cookies. He's a little cookie jar. He holds my favorite little cookies. When I have company, I can take the lid off and say, y'all dig in and get some cookies. I mean, this is just my little my little baby here. Now, what I want to share with you is even though you feel like you are sitting there collecting dust, you're not. Because there are people in this world that do. Listen to this. And there are people in this world that are. And we are so task-oriented mentally that we feel like if we're not doing, 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 like Martha versus Mary in the New Testament, we're accomplishing nothing and we are a great big failure. Wait, back up off of that, baby. Number one, when you look at the mechanisms in a clock, there are items that constantly move. There are other items that must remain stationary in order for the moving parts to function and fulfill their desired purpose for which they were made. Do you hear what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. When you look at a car, there are certain parts of the car that must remain stationary. The driver's seat cannot be spinning around and moving around like the wheels of the car. The driver's seat must remain still to hold the driver safely. Think about this. So when you're going through life and you feel like God hasn't used you, God hasn't given you gifts, God haven't, hasn't done what it takes to, to make you a great monumental person, Remember that the stationary is just as important as the mobile. Now, you look at a ship, right? You look at a ship. The ship is, the boat itself is just sitting there. The boat is doing nothing. What makes it get from point A to point B? All the rudders and the all the little mechanisms underneath that that motivated the end the the motor that runs and the propeller and all of the other moving parts gets that boat from point a to point b 
But what stops that boat from drifting into Never Never Land? What stops the boat from getting lost at sea? Stationary, big old heavy anchor. Anchor attached to a chain. You drop that sucker down in the water and it just sits there doing nothing. Absolutely nothing. But it's accomplishing something very important. It's keeping everything else in that boat and everybody else in that boat from being lost at sea. See, we have to stop being so task oriented. It's taken me years to get to the point where I stopped feeling so useless. We have to stop being so task oriented and remember that seeking God, his love, his righteousness, his kingdom, and everything associated with it is of the utmost importance. It's not the do, the do, the do, the do that gets you into heaven. It's who you are. Being who God created you to be. You have to be before you can do. And God is more interested in the be. And as you be, your do will line up with your be and the two will culminate together and you will be exactly what God wanted you to be. Someone had to make a mold to make that baby. Someone had to sand it up, polish it up, bake it in the oven, in the fiery furnace of affliction to cure it so it can withstand being bumped and knocked and 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 the things being knocked up against it without it cracking and falling apart, being able to hold things without it co collapsing under the weight of what it's holding. It could be a jar full of candy. It could be a jar full of nuts and bolts if I want it to be. But the bottom line is, it is doing what it was created to do. It's holding things together so they're not scattered all over the counter. They're keeping order. Many times people with an anchor type of a personality, with an anchor in their spirit, with uh, they're stationary and they're not getting a lot done, but they're of the utmost importance in the kingdom of God. Now I want to share this with you real quick. Okay, let me get my little cup from back here because I want you to see this example. Where's my little baby? Here she is. Okay, now. Check this out, y'all. <laughs> okay. Here's my little cup. How am I holding my cup? You see my hand? My hand is very station, is very mobile, of course. You got to use your hand to do almost everything. But now I'm holding my cup, right? Now, as I'm holding my cup, check this out. If I want to hold the cup, it's very awkward trying to hold it without my thumb. If I want to move my hand, my cup from place to place, I've got to use my thumb or else it becomes very awkward to just depend on these four fingers. Hmm, think about that. These are the fingers that get all the ornaments, the rings, the sparkle, the shine, all of that. The bracelet goes around this. What does the thumb get? Nothing. Maybe a little fingernail polish, but it gets nothing. Don't think of yourself as useless because you're not the center of attention. Don't think of yourself as useless because you're not uh, gaining ground and doing great exploits. Don't think of yourself as useless because God's got you at a stationary part of your life where, you're, where seemingly you're accomplishing nothing at all. Mm -mm. All you have to do is be. Be who God created you to be. Get all the inner healing. Get all the grace God has to give. Love, love, love. Forgive, forgive, forgive. In all your wisdom, get understanding. In all your understanding, get wisdom. Let God strengthen you and fortify you on the inner man. Clean you up and purge away the sins of your flesh. And you will see as time goes on. God will start to use you for more and more things. 
and you may end up being one of God's favorites. And I'm saying that to be cute because God is not a respecter of persons, but he does take pleasure in us seeking his ways and seeking him. Now, this is one of my favorites. I can't toast bread in them. I can't cook my eggs in them. I can't pour my drink in them. I mean, there's a whole lot of stuff I can't do with this baby. But guess what? Still one of my favorites because it accomplishes what I got it for. Are you accomplishing what God has placed you on this earth to do? Are you accomplishing it? Or are you busy about getting things done, 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 being a task-oriented person that's always busy, 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 and never waiting on the Lord and seeking what he has for your life at the appointed time? Or do you have your book filled up with your own appointments? Think about it. God bless you.